However, in this delegation, determination and approval of decisions under delegated power remains exclusive with the National Police Service Commission. So there is a limitation to the delegation and the Inspector General and Commanders have continued to exercise that delegation uh, diligently and with a lot of caution as uh, uh, it deserves. Allow me to mention a few updates on police analysis. One, the National Government Administration under the leadership of a section of the President you will recall pledged to improve terms and condition of service for police officers in fulfillment of the promise and pledges the government uh, established the Maraga Task Force whose recommendation include review and increase in police officers salaries. Pursuant to this recommendation and in accordance with the mandate of the National Police Service Commission, the Commission has um, reviewed and increased the salary of police constable from a basic salary per month at entry. At entry, we mean a fresh constable who have just left college. From Kenya Shilling 21,645, to 25,645. This is equivalent to an increment of 4,000 higher. This implies, again, the longest serving police constable will earn a minimum monthly gross salary. This is gross, including all allowances, of Kenya shilling 50,145 up to a maximum of Kenya shilling 69,640. What I mean by the longest serving police constable, our structure allows a police officer to serve up to 20 notches of salary increment each year. So when you begin, you start at notch one, which is 21, at 25,645. The following year, you move to notch two, and you serve in that one rank for up to 20 years if you must or if promotion hasn't come, and that structure allows that. So when I say the maximum, that is a constable who have served 20 years plus, he's already exceeded, because even without promotion and change of rank, we give incremental notches every year. On the same note, the Commission has increased the salary of a senior assistant inspector general from a monthly basic salary at entry of that rank. Remember this now is on the other extreme end. The other ranks are in between there. From Kenya shilling 200-899 to Kenya shilling 221 915. This is equivalent to 21,026 shilling higher. So this is the senior most in the ranks that the commission uh, consider not state officers. Is the senior assistant inspector general is just below the DIG. So you can see the junior most what he has got and the senior most what he has got na kwa hii kazi ya polisi tunasemaga mbuzi hula kulingana na urefu wa kamba ya yake ya yeah. so kama wewe ni mdogo unakula staili ya urefu ya kamba yako kama wewe ni mkubwa basi unapewa pia heshima yako na inspector generali eh, juzi alituambia Usimunyanyase mdogo, usimutatize mulie toshana, na usimchimbe mkubwa wako. That is his philosophy, and we continue to follow uh, that. 
allow me to tell you that um, only the maximum and the minimum a senior inspector general a senior, a senior assistant inspector general earns a gross of 310,725 and to a maximum of 409,365. This again is within the range of serving along the notches. Further, the Commission wish to confirm that the accounting officer for the National Police Service has also ensured that as we pay the officers who are serving in the country, also other officers serving in peacekeeping missions, like the one we have in Haiti, have been paid also equivalent salaries, and also their benefit and allowances for that mission have also been paid. So all police officers, whether within the country and outside the country, have been served equally well. Finally, as I conclude, allow me to speak about police constables aged 53 to 59 years in the service. This is a special category of senior officers who are toward retirement. The National Police Service Commission noted that they are all police officers who have served in the rank of police constable for more than 30 years and their discipline records are clean. This means they have stagnated for not, uh, for not any fault on their part. They haven't done anything wrong on their part. However, it should be appreciated that it is not unusual in this profession for a police officer to retire honorably as a police constable. There is nothing wrong because we cannot all be commanders. There are others who will take that responsibility depending on how officers differentiate themselves in performance. However, as a caring commission, when we received complaints of the stagnation of officers and appreciated the effect of stagnation on the morale and performance of these officers, including their retirement and the feeling of their families that uh, they have retired as police constables. And remember, these are also parents. They have children whom they are encouraging to perform well in a junior secondary school. We don't want our officers to be asked by their families, Nawewe baba, nawewe mama, mbona huku pandisho hata moja. And may you tell me I must pass my exams. So we consider that and we actually received um, the complaints and we considered that it's good to address the morale issues and their performance. Subsequently, the Acting Inspector General of National Police Service, Mr. Gilbert Masengeri, was asked by this commission to peruse the files of officers and identify those aged 53 to 59 years without any disciplinary faults and recommend them for promotion on merit. During a full commission meeting held on that September 2024, the commission received and determined and approved promotion on merit of 1,957 police officers who among them is 87 females and 1,870 males in total in an effort to motivate the officers as they approach the mandatory retirement, retirement age of 60. So these are the officers aged 53 to 59. We took that as a one-time decision as we prepared